Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Beth Caldwell, and welcome to Monday Morning Mastermind. I'm here to share tips with you about life and business because as women, we just don't separate the two. So today we're going to talk about getting started, getting productive, and getting things done. Does that sound good to you? Is that a good topic for Monday? You know, I am constantly getting the question, Beth, how do you get so much done? You are always doing things, and I always laugh, and that is true. I'm blessed because I do really, really enjoy my work, but guess what? You get a lot of done in your life and your work every day, too. My stuff is a little bit more visible than yours, so remember that. But it is true. I am a super productive woman. I do get a lot of things done. I, I do have the ability to stay focused and complete my tasks. So let me share some tips with you on how I do manage to get a lot of things produced and completed within my days and weeks. So the first thing that I recommend you do is to do what I call a brain dump. And that is when you write down everything that is in your head and all of the things that you need to do onto a piece of paper. I usually use a legal pad. I don't really like to do this digitally, although a lot of my friends and clients write it in their iPad or on their notebook. Um, this is, if you have my book, From Frantic to Focus, you'll see this list on the front. This is actually my to-do list uh, from the day that I met with my graphic designer when we were designing the cover of this book. And it's blown up a little bit inside the front cover. And you'll see that my to-do list is probably very much like yours. It has family and personal and community. Um, the very first thing on this list, because it was before this book came out, was pay bills, um, buy cat food, call the vets, um, make a car repair appointment. Yeah, there's not a lot of client things on this particular list. Call my mom is on here. These are the things that were on my mind that day. And back then, I used to do a brain dump only when I was overwhelmed. So sometimes it would take me up to an hour to get all of the things out of my head back then. Now today, I do a master to-do list. I don't really call it a brain dump anymore because I don't feel overwhelmed anymore. But I do a brain dump at least once a week. Um, I don't have a special place that I put it. I've, I'm one of those people that loves tablets and notebooks and I have a lot of them. So I will grab one of my notebooks and I'll have a to-do list. I don't keep a master running to-do list and I'll tell you why in a second. But I write down everything that is on my mind before I forget it. I put it on the list and here's the magic, you guys. I take it from my list and I put it right into my calendar. So I do not carry around a master to-do list. I don't feel lost without my to-do list because my stuff is in my calendar. I was so excited, I think, back in the year 2002 or 2003 when I found online calendars and I could put everything in them. Even to this day, I still do use a paper calendar for my client appointments and just to have a, a really nice overview of what I'm doing. But all of my tasks are in my digital online calendar. And it is sort of funny. Uh, people, when they see my calendar, the reaction, it's usually something like horror, like, that's your calendar. Uh, there's absolutely no space on it. It is filled with things to do. But when I look at my calendar, I am like, I don't have to worry about forgetting anything. It is all there and it is stored safely in the cloud so I don't have to worry about losing it. So it just feels good to me to have things written down on my calendar so when the day comes up in the morning, I know exactly what I have to do. Now here's something else if you're like me, Believe it or not, I'm, I'm somebody who really resists structure. I don't like to be told what to do and when to do it. So when I look at my daily calendar, which I've set up at the beginning of the week, I have a few client appointments. I usually see two or three clients in one day. And then my space before and after those, I get to pick which activities that I'm going to do. So there's structure there, but there's also flexibility to meet my very independent self, okay? So if you wanna get very productive and getting things done, number one, do a brain dump, okay? Do it weekly if you can. For a long time, my children used to do activities on Wednesday nights, and I would do my planning night on Wednesdays. Now, I happen to do it on Sundays, because Sunday is the time of the week when it's a little bit quiet and I have some space to myself in my life as it is right now. So it doesn't take me two hours, it takes me maybe 15 minutes to do my planning for the week. 
makes you feel really good. The next day you come in and things are organized and you're ready. So number one, do a brain dump. Number two, put everything on your calendar. Okay. Now let me give you some tips about putting things on your calendar. Let me tell you some things that are on my calendar. I wrote some notes for you. So some of the things that are on my calendar is I record my Monday morning mastermind every single week, right? So it's coming up with topics and titles and making a list and thinking and putting some thought into what I'm going to talk about. Um, I have a client newsletter that I'm working on right now. I have a digital conference for women about creating, getting your Google power on and having a beautiful website and doing your brand. I have a, a conference that I'm planning in November. So I have some things around that. That's, that's not one thing to do. There's many parts there. Getting the speaker, confirming the hotel, getting the contract. Today it's on my list to sign the contract and return it to the hotel. Um, I have a book that I'm working on. And on my calendar, I don't write, write a book. <laughs> it's sort of like create your table of contents set up an appointment with the editor. All the things that I have to do around each of those projects, I have done a master list, a master brain dump, and then taken those tasks and set them on my calendar. I also am starting a new mastermind for women. So it's, what am I gonna call the mastermind? When is it going to start? What days are we going to meet? Who am I going to invite? All of those little pieces of that puzzle get broken down and put into my calendar. Okay, so if you want to be super productive, you know, last week and the week before we talked about telling each other, telling ourselves lies. When you begin to become truthful with yourself, then you unreveal, you reveal what it is that you really want to be doing. Okay, now I'm taking you into that step of let's get to doing it. Let's be productive. So let's do the brain dump. Let's get it on our lists. Let's put it on our calendar, decide what we're going to do. And then here's something that I want you to be very aware of. And that is notice when you see your to-do list come up and you look at your calendar, you should feel joyful and excited. And if you don't, if you feel fearful or if you feel unworthy or you feel panicky or you feel like procrastinating, Okay, notice that you're feeling that way and pay attention to what you want to do instead. We call that buffering. We call that avoidance. So, you know, if you notice that it says in your calendar three things that you genuinely do want to do, but instead you are cleaning your closets or cleaning your basement or watering the garden, even though you just watered it yesterday. Okay, those are patterns of avoidance and patterns of buffering. So you might want to ask yourself, what am I avoiding? What am I afraid of? And a really good idea for you to help you become productive and to, to help you finish your task is something that I did for years. I had a power partner. I had accountability partner where we would talk on the phone once a week for 30 minutes early in the morning, 15 minutes. She talked about what her goals were, what she accomplished, what her challenges were. Okay, so she, so she had 15 minutes, she would tell me those things and then I would give her some advice and then vice versa. I would tell her what my goals were, what I accomplished from the week, what I didn't accomplish, what my challenges were, what I wanna do the next week and then I would get some feedback from her. So we had some accountability. Unfortunately, I kind of blew away my power partners early in my career because I was just like, let me just write 10 books instead of one, right? Um, so I did wind up joining a women's mastermind group and I joined a few different mastermind groups and I wound up um, joining a national one so that I could be around people that really had the same goals and visions as I, as I did instead of like bringing people from different parts together. So that's really worked well for me. So look for an accountability partner. That's my fourth tip. So repeating, do a brain dump, put on your calendar, Notice when you're buffering and get yourself a power partner, get yourself a coach, or be a part of a mastermind. If you're interested in my upcoming mastermind or if you want to know more about the shift coaching program that I have for women, go ahead and, and click the link below or send me a note, send me a message based on however you're seeing this and ask me and I'll be sure to get that information to you. I'm Beth Caldwell. Thanks for joining me for Monday Morning Mastermind and I'll see you next week.